Well, Eritrea on the Red Sea coast once was a province of Ethiopia, its much larger landlocked neighbor to the south, before winning its independence by referendum in 1993 with Ethiopian support. For more insight on the decades-long conflict, I'm joined by VOA reporter Salem Solomon, who was also a native of Eritrea. Welcome to Africa 54, Salem. Thanks for having me. Now, first, what really uh, led to this re protracted conflict? What made it so protracted? And what is it about Badme, this little piece of land? All right. So uh, the, the war was very long. Uh, I mean, it was only a three-year war between 1998 and 2000, but tens of thousands of lives were lost within a very short period of time. It was very intense in that way. And then there was a legal process that, took, that involved both of the countries that took the case to The Hague. And after a, a year-long legal process, it was decided that the Flashpoint, which is a symbolic town, a small desert town, uh, with about uh, a thousand residents was awarded to Eritrea. Actually, within that border commission's decision, the Eritrea and Ethiopia uh, commission's uh, decision, uh, Eritrea lost more land, but that focal symbolic town was uh, uh, the reason why uh, this has been uh, pro protracted for a very long time because Ethiopian troops were in Badame, still are in Badame uh, for that reason, despite the land being awarded to Eritrea. So how has it been possible now to have a change of policy and to what extent uh, can this be connected to the military uh, shakeup in Ethiopia? So Ethiopia, with the new prime minister, has had incredible sweeping changes that we're seeing, not just uh, between, uh, you know, uh, improving the relation between Ethiopia and Eritrea, We've, we're seeing a lot of changes. One of them is military shakeup that's happening within Ethiopia. The military shakeup uh, happened in June 7th. Uh, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, uh, you know, uh, named Sa'ara Makonin, who happens to be from the Tigra, uh, TPL left uh, Tigran Liberation Front, uh, really united in the concession of this land but united in opposition of concession of this land that has been a conflict between the two countries. The shake-up happened right, right when this announcement was made and there's been extreme opposition within the command, the North Command is what they're calling it. This uh, commander is in charge of overseeing that command and that is a major different, uh, uh, you know, uh, different, what, different thing that we're seeing from what has been happening in the past. Because claims of uh, of accepting this borders de uh, border uh, decision has been coming from uh, Haile Maram de Saling, which ha who was the, the pr uh, former pr prime minister, and and other claims of acceptance. And they've been saying that the Ethiopian government has been saying, let's negotiate first. But the troops were still on uh, Eritrean land. And so that has been the major change that we're seeing is that there is a possibility and, and claim that the troops might be pulling out so that negotiation can start. Now, we heard uh, that there are few who may not be happy with the, the decision taken by Prime Minister uh, Abiy. Why? What, what is it for some uh, that leads them not to want to have a resolution to this problem? Mm -hmm. Uh, the reason is because uh, the uh, Tigran Liberation Front has been very uh, 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 disgruntled by the uh, Borders Commission's decision to lose this town that we're talking about, as I said, because it's more symbolic. It's, it's a political symbolic uh, town, despite the significance and of the lives lost. What in does that it country. meant uh, for the people of this region, given that actually ethnically <laughs> they are related? Yeah, I mean, they speak the same language with different yeah. dialects. Yeah. But the reason why, uh, I mean, in any border country, uh, in, in any border, in any country that you see, families get intermarried. And we've spoken to residents of this flash town, uh, Badame, and most of them have been, we've seen protests and they're saying we don't want to be part of Eritrea. So there's a lot of uh, conversation about how families have been uh, torn apart. Yeah. Uh, what, what this war has done to that, to that border is that it's militarized and um, you know, economic stagnation has happened. People cannot travel, cannot see their families. It's torn about, uh, apart a lot of families. And so it's devastated these communities for a very long time. And we're seeing the militarization of these uh, communities, uh, unnecessary militarization. So they're looking at each other and at any point. And we've seen um, you know, uh, conflict uh, flaring up here and there. And so, so it's really so devastated these thanks. communities. We hope. Uh, Finally, we see an end to this. Uh, thank you very much, Salem, for joining us today.
Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate your insights.